Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. We got us a big bottle today. This comes from Brooklyn Brewing. This is their hand and seal. And this is the 2014 edition. This is a retired beer. Rico sent this to me. Uh, I can't get some of the Brooklyn beers here, but I've not seen this one. Uh, this is a 750 milliliter corked and caged bottle. Big, big bottle. Rico, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate you sending me all the beers that you do. My, my friend, it is uh, so impressive uh, when you tell me you're sending me my package and each box has gotten bigger every time. The last box was a big U-Haul box and I know the uh, delivery guy was grunting. If he didn't two-wheel it down to the porch, he was grunting and, and straining to carry that box down here. Big box. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. Uh, uh, you are a, a kind sir. Uh, I want to I want to emphasize that because I know how much these beers cost. To me, I bet this beer is a twenty-five dollar or more beer. It would not surprise me at all. This is their hand and seal, and what that is is a bourbon barrel aged barley wine. Don't that sound good? Oh man, everything goes in the bourbon barrels. It's usually pretty damn tasty. And this is, like I said, a corked and caged uh, a bottle here, a great big 750 milliliter. Not a cheap beer, I am sure of. 13.3% uh, alcohol. I don't have the IBUs and as far as dating on the back here in the dating label, they've got blend number one. So pretty sure this is the retired beer. Uh, they've done one since then. Uh, it was aged in a con cognac barrel. But this is a bourbon barrel version, so uh, evidently he pulled this from his private collection and sent it to me. Thank you, sir. 13.3%. Uh, I don't have any IBUs. It's not written on the bottle. The commercial description on uh, rate beer is huge. Uh, but I'm going to read it, though, because he spent his hard-earned money on this and, and, and paid to ship it to me. Commercial description in the 20th season of the rain, the year uh, Anno Brooklynus, Brooklynus, 26, our brewmaster brought forth a new wonderment for the people. Barley wine style ale, once the exclusive drink of British nobility, would be produced anew in Brooklyn. Linking together their twin brew house, the Brooklyn Brewery team toiled a great many hours to create the most robust beer they had ever produced. Then it was set to rest for months in cask of bourbon oak and finally re-fermented in the bottle. The result is one of the richest, tastiest beer to ever emerge from our brewery. The deep flavors of floor, malted maris alder, barley shines through the layers of vanilla, coconut, toast, and floral notes given by aging in four roses bourbon wood. And the seal is complex without being perfumey, so subtly, sub, sub, easy for me to say, subly, subly, <laughs> it's sweet without becoming cloying. It's naturally general carbonation suits a contemplative drink. The size of the bottle connotes a spirit of generosity for it's able to be shared with friends and family, which I intend to do. At dinner, you will find a fine partner to plates, game meats, and sausages, and a wonderful compliment to cheeses. And if your evening should involve much laughter around the fireplace, all the better. Hand and seal, ready to enjoy now, yet good things shall come to those who celebrate. Hereupon witness our hand and seal, both of them demonstrates our promise that this fire now shall be worthy of your taste and brilliant times by you to bring to us. So we say that to all. Uh, 
Yeah, I imagine so. If you've had a few big beers before you've had this, you're gonna be you're gonna be chuckling and laughing because you got your damn buzz going on. Ain't no doubt about it. And I got a feeling I will be too. At 13.3 percent, final beer of the evening for me. Uh, I probably when I come back, I'll have my buzz going on. No doubt about it. And uh, I chose this beer because it's a big bottle, and I want to share it with the other half tonight. So uh, I'm gonna pour me a glass, and I'm gonna pour her a glass. I, I, so, Rico, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it, sir. You are so generous. Uh, don't think there's anything else there we need to talk about, so we'll go over to the food pairing for this beer. Cheese is a sharp blue cheddar, and the stronger cheese is a gold result of Limburger. And the glass bars, pint, becker, and nonic tumbler, snifter, oversized wine glass. Got my favorite glass, the solid beer glass, and can be solid for a long, 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 long time. And if it was up to me, uh, and I bought this beer, I would probably sell it for, for a while. Uh, but since Rico spent his money on this, and he probably, and being a retired beer, uh, pulled it out of his private collection to send to me, I feel obligated to review it in a timely manner, which I am doing. So, let's get the cap off of this bad boy, or so I said, the cork in the cage. Let's hope it don't explode once I pull the cap off. A lot of times I'll get this cage off of there, the damn cork wants to go... Wow! And then other time, then you almost need a pair of pliers to get them out. Here we go. Let's see what kind of pop we get. Oh, not a big pop. So I don't expect it to come rushing out. Stands up so we can hopefully generate a little bit of head. Doesn't look like it's going to though. Nope, not much at all. About a quarter finger of head on that pour. A uh, rich brown color, very cloudy. Uh, definitely cloudier through the big bowl part than it is through the thin part. I can see it a little bit of light through the brown beer on the bottom. Good looking beer. And I always say that. Good looking beer. What I mean by that, it's a good looking beer. Take it for what it is. And the head is dissipated pretty quickly as it's now barely covering the top of the beer. Let's get a nose on it. Ah, definitely getting the bourbon. And it's a barley wine, a big barley wine, 13.3%. Nice sweetness, very sweet on, on the nose. Caramel, molasses, brown sugar. Be a bit of alcohol. 13.3%. Uh, kind of won't expect that. But very sweet. Very barley wine-esque as far as the nose. And bourbon barrel aged. Boy, that's going to kick it up a notch or two or twelve. Smells very good, guys. Wow. Brooklyn does some really tasty stuff, and I really like their, their black stout. Oh man, that smells so sweet on the back end. Caramel, toppy, hints of some dark fruit in there, raisins, dates, plums, figs. Wow, that smells awesome, guys. Couldn't wait to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Wow. What a super smooth drinking beer this is for 13.3%. There is some hints of alcohol. There is a little bit of booze in this there. Come on. You're drinking at 13.3%. If you're not expecting any alcohol or any booze in this out there, a mule has kicked you in the head at some time or another. Super, super sweet on the back end, like a lot of barley wines are. Caramel, toppy, dark fruit, caramel. I said caramel, didn't I? Wow, that's delicious.
that is so delicious. Great beer to finish up the evening with. And have with a stronger dish. If you're having a strong dish for dinner, you could have this, or you could have it after dinner as your dessert. Uh, this is a great dessert beer. It really, really is. And a great beer, especially in the size bottle, to share with somebody, which I intend to do. Wow. And I got a feeling, that, and it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. We're going to sip on this probably 45 minutes or longer. And I think I'm going to throw some burgers or something on the grill. And uh, sip on this. And maybe fire up a, uh, I think I'm going to fire up a, uh, Hmm, what should I fire? I think I'm going to fire up a punch bare knuckle to go with this beer while I'm sipping on it, while I'm cooking some burgers. And we'll come back and uh, we'll do the final chug and grade on this one and uh, see what she has to think about it. And I'll report back to you on that since she is camera shy. And uh, see where this ends up, but it's pretty damn tasty right now. And like I said uh, earlier, this is a retired beer. Uh, they, do not, they made it once. And they have done it once since then, and they put it in a different barrel. They put it in a cognac barrel instead of the bourbon barrel. So, uh, haven't had that, but uh, the bourbon barrel seems to be very tasty. And I'm kind of partial on the bourbon barrel stuff, whether it's a barley wine or a stout or, or whatever. Uh, do like a hint of bourbon in uh, in these big beers. So, because I don't drink bourbon anymore, that's the only way I get that hint of bourbon. And a lot of people buy beers and they'll take some bourbon and they'll take a jigger of that and pour it in there and then they got a, a bourbon taste in their beer but I don't do that but uh, very tasty. I'll be right back. Let me sip on this for a little bit and we'll see where it ends up. Be right back. Hi guys I'm back. I've been sitting on about 45 minutes or so. Very pleasant. Very nice well made beer. Uh, caramel and toffee brown sugar. The bourbon notes. Some dark fruit, dates, raisin plums, figs. Wow. Awesome beer. Awesome beer. Excellent mouthfeel on this beer. Bottle chug. If you can get the first edition of this, which is this one, the hand and seal in the bourbon barrels, not the conic barrels, it's awesome. It is freaking awesome. Uh, to me, guys, it's got the data on it. It says 2014 on the back of the label here. It's got the ABVD, 13.3%, Brooklyn Brewery, Brooklyn, New York, uh, barley wine, aged in bourbon barrels. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. It's a 10 for me, guys. It's, it's definitely a 10. A great beer to finish up the evening with, which is what I'm doing. Final beer of the evening for me. Wow. Very nice. Went very well with the bare knuckle, the punch bare knuckle cigar that I had sitting out on the deck uh, grilling some hamburgers with this. Uh, I'm getting ready to go in there and have my dinner. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. 10 for me. It's 100 for me, guys. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 94 in the outstanding range. And over to Beer Advocate, I mean, Red Beer, they say 99 overall, 97 in the style. I'm, my number's a little bit better than that. Uh, I can't think of anything that I would do to change this beer or make it better. It is awesome. It's pretty damn tasty. Rico, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate you sending this to me. It is freaking awesome. Great beer on, uh, on a nice uh, spring evening to uh, sip on, or if you want to have it with your dinner, or after dinner, I'm I'm getting I've had it before dinner, so uh, get ready to go in and have some grilled cheeseburgers, stuffed grilled cheeseburgers on top of that, and uh, it's tasty, guys. If you had this, one, let me know what you think of it. It's uh, pretty damn awesome. Uh, I don't know if it's still available on the shelves now that it's retired, but if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. Hand and seal. From Brooklyn Brewery, their uh, bourbon barrel aged barley wine style ale, 13.3%. Got my buzz going on. Very tasty. All right, guys, let me know what you think. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see if we can dig out of the fridge. Hopefully, it'll be just as good as this. The 10s are hard to come by, and this is a 10 for me.
So let me know if you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. We'll see you then. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you.